All right, boys, first chase of the day, man. <laughs> We got 121 anglers today. All right, so this is my Airbnb. Got all my batteries and stuff over there. Computer, bed. It's pretty nice, pretty nice little Airbnb. It's been about like $107 for the night. Pretty nice. Got a little closet. Gave me like a free water, got some chocolates. Nice people. But um, yeah, guys, I'm excited for the tournament tomorrow. Probably gonna tie some poles, my poles out there later on. And uh, yeah, look, look, look at it, guys. This is like a whole room, like you know, pretty spacious. I like it for some, for some uh, Airbnb. I'm, I'm renting a room, not a whole house. This is, you know, this is affordable if you guys want to, you know, just rent something instead of like a hotel. I feel like this is better than hotel, but yeah, I, got, I got like a, I brought a whole bunch of stuff, but yeah, whatever. Stay tuned though, man. This is, this is super cool Airbnb. <clears throat> Alright guys, so at the Airbnb right now, um, oh. Tough pre-fish, I, I mean, you guys are going to see this after the, I guess I upload the pre-fish video, but did pretty bad on the pre-fish, so I got to make up a new game plan. I, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but, um, I don't know, I, I tried, I had like all my confident, confident baits tied on and just couldn't get anything to bite and I don't know. Oh, tomorrow's gonna be a tough one, guys. It's gonna be a tough one. I have a feeling it's not gonna get any easier. I think tomorrow I'm gonna try to fish a little bit slower and maybe just use more finesse because I don't think the bass are eating moving baits right now. I don't know. I just I think the water is too cold for a moving bait, but someone's probably gonna catch something on a moving bait. But I'm gonna focus on more finesse fishing and just fishing slower. So yeah. I guess I'll tell you guys what I'm using for my, my baits. So once I'm done tying all, all my baits on, I'm going to show you guys each, I guess, bait, what I'm, what, what I'm going to be using tomorrow. So um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, boys, it is 7.30. We're gonna start off with the Carolina rig because I really don't have any confidence in any other baits. So we're just gonna be dragging a worm on the bottom because I, I really don't know what these fish want, guys. Like, I'll, I'll try to keep my bait 
is in the water as much as possible, but I really don't know what to do, y'all. Oh my god, that's big. Big guys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's go. Man. Let's go, boys. Nice. Oh god, start off the day. Our right, boys, first fish of the day, man. <laughs> Let's go. Call them at 7.56. AM. Let's go. 14 incher. Let's go, boys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's go. I feel so good, guys. To actually get one. Man. I think that was in like about 30, 35 foot or something. All right, boys, let's try to catch more, man. Let's get it. Stay tuned. I was losing hope. <laughs> I was losing hope, man. Oh, man. Let's go. I guess I'm just going to drag the Carolina rig all day because I don't really I don't really know what else is going to work right now. So, yeah, we'll just keep using the Carolina rig. Man, this feels so good, guys. Got that, like, within the first hour of fishing. Or no, first like 20 minutes of fishing, man. All right, now we, we just got to keep covering water, finding these fish. Uh, let me add some more scent to my bait. Man. Yeah, I was, I was fishing like deeper water too, guys. Like it's not, not shallow. Hold on. Oh, yes. Okay, it's emitted. Cool. People are catching them right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting too hyped up over one fish, you know. I should be moving, covering water. That's what I've been, I, I guess, been doing wrong. I feel like when I go fishing, I get glued to one spot.
All right, back to it. Oh man, my goal. I wanted. To, I want to catch five today, but I don't know. I got four hours left. Probably gonna spend the last hour making my way back. Let's go. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Might have been the color change, y'all. Oh. This guy's a lengthy guy, too. Oh, look at that. Right up the mouth. This guy's a decent guy, too. 13 and 75 inches. Let's go second the bass of the day, boys. Let's get it. Stay tuned. This year, boys. Let's go. All right, buddy. Thanks for the fight. See you later. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna just do another cast, see if I can get another one. I'm marking a couple right now. All right, guys, I'm gonna start heading back to the boat ramp. Current time is 1.58 p.m. Uh, I think the tournament ends in about an hour. It's gonna take me about like probably 30 minutes to an hour to get back. So if I get back a little earlier, I'll, I'll fish around the bo boat ramp. But um, yeah, boys, stay tuned.
All right, guys, here is the recap for today. Current time is 3.33, 3.31 p.m. And today I fished my first ever, first tournament of 2023, 2024, 2024. Um, yeah, it was a tough one, boys. Pre-fish was, that, that just messed up my whole, like, mentality. Because just, you know, skunking on a pre-fish, that, that just kind of, I don't know, like, ruined my mood I don't, I don't know guys that just it demotivated me that i didn't catch anything so i came in today like with a mentality of i'm not gonna catch anything so i just i used like i just used all finesse i didn't even try any like i guess you could say reaction style baits like spinner bait a rig of jerk bait i didn't even try any of that crank bait but i have faith in like uh those baits so i just did all finesse today and I somehow I caught one within the first hour of the, the tournament on a Carolina rig, brown worm. And yeah, I was marked, I marked a whole bunch of fish in like probably like 30 to like 35 foot. And I started casting in that uh, area, maybe like a little closer to the bank. So somewhere around, I'd say I was casting between like 20 to like 35 foot. And I guess one of those bass wanted to bite. And yeah, I thought I was snagged, man. I, I I snagged so many times, guys. Like, oh my god, that was so annoying. I probably lost. I, I probably snagged like probably like five, six times. That was annoying. And then um, I think I ran out of barrel swivels, so I just did the Ned rig all day after the Carolina rig. Just you know, because I, I couldn't tie the Carolina rig on, and just kept throwing it, throwing it, covering water. You gotta do that if you want to catch fish right now especially right now man you got to cover as much water as you can because it's tough it was really tough man uh well i'd say probably after like another two to three hours i hooked up on my second fish of the day and was totally surprised because you know just after two three hours of nothing no bites uh, you, you know, you get one and it, it felt really good, motivated me to keep going, push through and then we're here, we're here. I don't think I did too bad though, you know, c considering how I did during uh, my pre-fish, caught nothing, I feel like I learned from that experience, which uh, I I think I on the, in the pre-fish, I fished a little too fast and um I I could uh, I could have slowed down during pre-fish, but I didn't. I just wanted to cover water, try a whole bunch of different baits, and just see what what the fish were doing and where they're at, what dip and all that. I guess I should have been fishing slower and just I don't know, being more paying more attention to my graph. I feel like the graph was key right now because it's, it's really tough, man. The fish are barely barely biting, so you gotta. You gotta really pay attention to your graph, and as soon as you start marking some fish, just throw your bait out there. Or I don't, I don't know, man. It's just when you skunk, it, it makes you like think like you. Well, when I, when I skunk or like do really bad on a day, it makes me feel like I don't know the fish. I mean, that's kind of true, but kind of not true. So I don't know. But um, I think for today, though, the people that caught their limits. I think they're fishing deeper and they're fishing slower. Maybe. I don't know. That's what worked for me though. So, well, yeah, anyways, um, I'll pop up on the screen or uh, the award ceremony or whatever they do. Uh, they're going to do it in like an hour. So, uh, I'll show a, li a little bit of that. But, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy the video or learn something new, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go for Tournament of 2024. All right, we had 121 anglers today. Went paid, paid down all the way to 12th place. First place, first place to take home $1,564. We also got first place in the yak pot, an additional $1,900. Joseph Silva, you're a champion. All right, there you have it. That wraps up Orville. Next stop.
is Par D for the Gambler Series, and the weekend after that is Folsom Lake, the lake you love to hate. <laughs> That's it. Everybody drive safe. Thanks for everybody coming out. Hey, there's Josh.